This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon and thanks for watching News 8 Now. I'm Michael Germain. Alexandra is out today. President Biden is set to meet this afternoon with Germany's chancellor after giving a fierce defense of his mental capability. On Thursday, the special counsel looking into Biden's handling of classified materials released his report, declining to bring criminal charges, but depicting the president's memory as hazy and poor. Descriptions that sparked the heated response from the president. Natalie Brand reports from the White House. My memory is fine. In an unexpected news conference, a defiant President Biden refuted some of the findings of the special counsel investigating his handling of classified documents. Special counsel Robert Hur, in his report noted memory lapses and said Mr. Biden could not recall the exact timeline of his vice presidency or when his son Bo died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, it wasn't any of their damn business. The report also concluded Biden's actions posed serious risks to national security given the sensitive material found in his Delaware home and at a Washington, D.C. office that Biden used after his time as vice president. But the Department of Justice declined to bring criminal charges, saying the evidence does not establish Mr. Biden's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. I did not break the law. The report also noted Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury as he did during our interview with him as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. News the DOJ is not pursuing charges is welcome here at the White House, but the president and his reelection campaign face damage control over the report's renewed focus on the 81-year-old's memory. It's unnerving that the world can see this. You know, and if that's their impression, then uh, that's not good for America. The White House Counsel's Office has asked the special counsel to revise the language in the report, calling the characterizations of President Biden's memory prejudicial and inflammatory. At the news conference, Biden also offered his sharpest criticism yet of Israel's handling of the war against Hamas, calling it over the top. Shortly afterward, the White House issued a new executive action requiring countries, including Israel, to abide by the laws of war if they receive weapons from the United States. New data shows the current El Nino is now one of the strongest on record, catapulting it into rare super El Nino territory. Ocean surface temperatures are one of the main ways scientists determine whether El Nino is present and are a key indicator of its strength. From November to January, the temperature of the tropical Pacific Ocean where El Nino originates was two degrees Celsius warmer than normal. That threshold has only been breached six times on record, and it means a very strong El Nino is ongoing. But this so-called super El Nino strength won't last long. A climate scientist says it has reached its peak strength and is headed on a downward trend. Well, this uh, El Nino pattern that's dominated this winter is one reason we've been so mild and snowless across the upper Midwest. Now, after a spring-like day yesterday, kind of a little dose of reality today. A live look through City Cam will show plenty of clouds, and it definitely feels a little bit more like February as you head outside this afternoon. Breezy and cooler. Uh, colder this weekend, but dry. And, uh, yeah, the next eight days... Looking a little bit more February-like compared to uh, the last several days when we've seen highs above 50 degrees on several days. Now, clouds right now, but uh, mainly dry. The exception, some very light snow showers or flurries generally north of Eau Claire, so mainly impacting northern Dunn County, also parts of Chippewa and uh, up into Rusk County as well. That shouldn't amount to all that much. Otherwise, temperatures, again, are chillier today. 34 in Eau Claire, 36 in Winona and Black River Falls, 39 here in La Crosse, and uh, 41, the warm spot down in Boscobel. So mostly cloudy, cooler, still breezy with those westerly winds, 10 to 20, gusting to 30. It's going to make those temperatures in the low 40s uh, here in the cross feel even colder. I'll detail that eight-day forecast that's coming up in just a few minutes. Thanks, Bill. The National Weather Service says three tornadoes were reported in the Midwest last night. Two reports are from southern Illinois, more than 100 miles from Chicago. The other twister is the first ever tornado in February in Wisconsin. The National Weather Service calls that one confirmed. It touched down in Rock County, just south of Madison. Officials report minor injuries and damage, but no fatalities. 
The Georgia State Senate Committee investigating alleged misconduct by Fulton County DA Fawny Willis is holding its first meeting today. The committee is looking into the district attorney's relationship with Nathan Wade, the lead prosecutor on the 2020 election case, and allegations of misconduct stemming from that relationship that includes potential conflicts of interest and misuse of public funds. Willis and Wade admitted to having a personal affair in court papers, but Willis has denied financially benefiting from hiring him. State Senator Brad Path visiting La Crosse today to discuss gun violence and its impact on students. The Democratic Senator was joined by two UWL students. They shared their experiences with gun violence in school. Path touched on the newly passed federal bipartisan gun safety legislation that established the White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention. In the state government, he says there is broad support for common sense gun legislation like universal background checks. That is something that is supported. Um, and that is, uh, that, that has broad support. Uh, unfortunately, uh, in Madison, we can't get it through a, a legislative committee. Uh, but if it was brought to the overall floor of either house, I'm confident it would pass and be signed into law. Senator Paff also made a point to mention the importance of expanding mental health resources. Well, coming up on News 8, now at noon, the FCC is cracking down on robocalls. What the agency is doing to stop scammers from using artificial intelligence to sound more convincing. It's time for more fun moments at Fanati's. All set? I am. I just know my husband's going to love getting these for Valentine's Day. I'm sure he will. Hi. Is there anything I can help you find today? Yeah, I need a few things for my wife. Well, do you know what she likes? Well, Amanda likes chocolate, sea salt, caramel, uh, anything. Amanda! I know exactly what she likes. Brought to you locally by Fanati's Nut and Chocolate Shop in downtown La Crosse. My feet hurt so bad in the morning, I couldn't even put my feet on the floor. So I had to start engineering my own arch support. So I got that, then I put this in there, this one. Finally, before I added another one of these in, I went to Good Feet, and they gave me this. So I built all this together to engineer a solution to my pain. And if I'd have just gone to Good Feet, I'd have been better off in the first place. Good Feet Arch Supports, engineered for pain relief, personally fitted for you. President's Day is a time to honor all presidents, past and present. And at King Furniture, we're giving you the opportunity to save some presidents with huge discounts throughout the entire store, up to 60% off. Now that's what I'm talking about. And right now, you can get 0% financing. So save some presidents at King. For the record, Franklin was not a president, but you can save him too. It's the President's Day sale going on right now at King, King Furniture. Furniture. Nice people. Nice furniture. Nice style. I'm Kelly Wild. It's 102.7 WKBH. When my grandmother passed away, my mom gifted me with her a Bohemian cookbook. I found one recipe for a soup, and written on top of it, in my grandmother's beautiful handwriting, was, she really loves this. So I cook up a small batch, bring it over to my mom, and she says, what is this? I said, it's your favorite soup from Grandma Paulda's cookbook. Then my mom said, she would make this for her dog, Ginger, when she couldn't go to the bathroom. Bad news for phone scammers. The FCC announced a major crackdown on robocalls that use voices generated by artificial intelligence. Scammers can now be hit with fines topping $23,000 for calls that use voice cloning tools to defraud people or manipulate voters. This comes as officials in New Hampshire investigate a series of robocalls that mimicked President Biden's voice to discourage people from voting in last month's primary election. Rappers Snoop Dogg and Master P are suing Walmart and Pulse Consumer Brands, accusing them of making their cereal brand unaffordable by pricing it at $10 a box and also keeping it in stock rooms. 
Post responded in a statement saying it had been excited by the partnership and that the company is equally disappointed that consumer demand did not meet expectations. Walmart added that many factors affect the sales of any given product. Streams of Tracy Chapman's fast car are soaring after her surprise Grammys duet with Luke Combs. Daily streams of the 1988 hit are up 260% on Spotify, and according to Today.com, Chapman's entire music catalog has seen a nearly 430% uptick this week alone. Chapman is the song's original singer and songwriter, and Combs' country cover of the song earned a Grammy nomination. The Super Bowl is projected to generate half a billion dollars for the Las Vegas economy this week, but the NFL Legacy Program also partnered with the Las Vegas Super Bowl 58 host committee to hand out more than $3 million to 88 local nonprofit organizations, including the YMCA. The Super Bowl airs this Sunday on CBS. Well, that's it for your afternoon consumer news. As we head to break, here's a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us, more news is next. Get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy in the La Crosse area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olson Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you. Learn more at OlsonSolarEnergy.com or give us a call. We know you care. But if this is all too real for you and your loved ones, make the call. Because we care too. Home instead. To us, it's personal. The President's Day sale is going on right now at Carl. This is your chance to save some presidents, if you know what I mean. Save up to 45% on major appliances, plus exclusive in-store specials. You get free installation on select dishwashers. Save up to $1,000 on Serta base sets. Save up to 70% on in-stock TV stands and councils. Stop in and save some of these during Carl's President's Day sale, going on now. Carl's your servicing dealer since 1956. You trust the First Horn weather team to keep you safe and even better, you can take us with you. Expect more with hourly temps and conditions. Video forecasts, interactive radar, and your choice of notifications. We're there when you need us. It was supposed to be the hottest new lunch spot in town, but a year and a half later, the building is still empty, and the only thing being served is lawsuits. Monday at 6, we take you inside the beef that spoiled the lacrosse food hall for everyone. A simple, inexpensive treatment could help save hundreds of thousands of young lives each year. And a new study from the University of Southern California looks at why it's underused. Researchers found oral rehydration salts were often underprescribed for diarrhea, partially because doctors assume patients preferred other solutions like antibiotics, which are more expensive and often unnecessary. Diarrhea, diarrhea is the second leading cause of death in children under age five worldwide. Researchers at Columbia University are bringing awareness to a public health crisis impacting black women. Over the last 20 years, black women ages 25 to 44 were six times more likely to die by homicide than white women, especially by guns. Researchers suggest the findings highlight the urgent need to tighten gun laws in the United States. A new Gallup poll found married people tend to be far happier than those who aren't married. Researchers polled more than 2.5 million American adults from 2009 to 2023. Data showed married people consistently reported their happiness levels higher than their unmarried counterparts. The gap existed across various demographics. Researchers pointed to a number of factors that help explain the results. Humans are social animals who seek connection, and people who are consistently happy may also be those who seek out marriage. The use of stigmatizing language by liver transplant and rehab centers 
may be preventing patients from seeking care. Researchers from Massachusetts General Hospital found a majority of centers exclusively use words including alcoholism, alcoholic, and alcohol abuse on their websites. They suggest facilities adopt less stigmatizing language that will encourage patients to get the treatment they need. Those were some of today's top health stories. Here's a look at City Cam 8. Bill is in next with our forecast. Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls presents Matt Stell. Don't miss this multi-platinum country artist live February 16th. Matt Stell with opening act Mason Dixon Line. $35 tickets include $15 free rewards play. Available now on Ticketmaster.com. Don't miss Matt Stell February 16th at Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls. Must be 21 or over to attend. It just keeps getting worse. The crack keeps growing. The doors and windows stick. This must be very frustrating. Almost no one connects that these are telltale signs that water is shifting your foundation. But it's okay. We got it. Oh, this is done growing in this house. Okay. The effects of water can be surprising. But at Innovative Basement Authority, we'll do a complete home inspection for free. So you can put water back in its place. Schedule a free home inspection today. Come on, Michael, come on. Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually... Here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy! easy. Hut! Hut! Come on, Michael, you got this! Come on, come on, turn! Michael, catch! I can see! You did it! I did it! 30 minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. Hey, welcome back and a good Friday afternoon to all of you. Before we get to the chillier forecast, let's review yesterday. Well, how about that? That was spring-like, wasn't it? Very windy, though, so it was fully uh, or hard to fully enjoy these uh, record-breaking temperatures. But we flirted with 60 degrees. 59 was the high in both La Crosse and Eau Claire, shattering the old records. 51 was the old record in La Crosse in 2002, 49 in Eau Claire in 1991. And look at compared to average. We were 29 degrees above that yesterday in La Crosse and 33 degrees above that in Eau Claire. So it's no wonder we not only had uh, the uh, record temperatures, but also the uh, strong to severe thunderstorms over southern parts of the state as that cold front swept through. Now you can see where some thunderstorms were locally with some uh, small hail and brief heavy downpours from Vernon County up through Monroe County, Juneau County as well, and another one near Prairie du Chien through Crawford County and Richland Counties, and then the heavier storms south and uh, east of Madison where unfortunately there were some confirmed tornadoes, and then much lighter totals, generally less than a tenth of an inch for the rest of us with some uh, brief showers last evening. Now cloudy skies at this noon hour, 43, the uh, high so far today, that was just after midnight. That might end up being our high temperature because temperatures aren't going to move much this afternoon. 30 and 12 are the averages, that record high today. We'll stay safe for a change. It's 51 set in 1966. Cloudy 39 at the station and out at the airport. Feels like 31, though, with a blustery west wind at 10 to 20. 34 for you folks in Eau Claire and a wind chill of 24 as your winds are gusting to 25 miles per hour. So those spring-like numbers have been pushed a little farther to the south and east behind that cold front. Uh, we are generally in the uh, 30s, 34 in Eau Claire, 36 in Winona and Black River Falls, and uh, 41 in Boscobel. Still breezy, not as windy as yesterday, but still gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour. That's pushing wind chills into the 20s in many spots. Feels like 31, though, 
uh, here in La Crosse. So cloudy skies region wide. A few light snow showers or flurries north of Eau Claire, uh, maybe up towards Bloomer, uh, impacting northern Dunn County, Chippewa County, also parts of Rust County as well. Otherwise, just uh, that's kind of wraparound moisture from that departing storm system, which is up over the northern shores of uh, Lake Superior. Sky Tracker showing plenty of clouds still in play for the rest of today, even into tonight, more clouds and stars. And then tomorrow we uh, break out of the clouds and should get into quite a bit of sunshine through our Saturday. Zone forecast showing the cooler temperatures today, lower 40s this afternoon in the La Crosse area, uh, down to the south, low to mid 40s, and then even colder as we head back to the north and west, 38 in Lewiston and Mondovi, 37 in Osseo, also 37 in Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. So my forecast for this afternoon, mostly cloudy, breezy and cooler. 42, those blustery west winds making it feel chillier than that, though. 27 tonight with more clouds and stars. And then uh, for the weekend, dry but chilly, upper 30s. That's still above average, though. 40s return to start next week. Some low-end precip chances Tuesday and Wednesday, a little more than sprinkles or flurries. Maybe some light snow showers Wednesday night into Thursday. And a little colder later next week, 34 on Friday, 29 on Saturday. So uh, 50s. Not in the next eight days, but it was sure nice to enjoy them while they were here. Michael. Thanks, Bill. Bright lights, big city, it's Vegas, baby. After the break, we'll be taking a look at the Neon Museum. Stay with us. That's up next. Ashley's 48-hour super sale is happening February 11th and 12th. For two days only, shop in store for exclusive deals on living room favorites delivered right on time for the big game. Plus, pay 0% interest through February 2029. Only at Ashley. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Are you or a loved one having troubles getting in and out of the bathtub safely? Has the high cost of remodeling left you without options? I'm Tim with Tri-State Tub to Shower Conversions and I've been serving the Tri-State area since 1992. And I would love to make your bathing experience safe and affordable. We use your existing tub and remove the front section for easy accessibility. And for an affordable cost, call today. Ready to transform your skin in one simple step? Introducing Paula's Choice Mandelic and Lactic Acid AHA Liquid Exfoliant. 100% saw smoother, softer, brighter skin. Resurface texture and tone and promote healthy cell turnover without irritation. The next level of exfoliation is here. Available at Paula's Choice and Sephora. Ashley's 48-hour super sale is happening February 11th and 12th. For two days only, shop in store for exclusive deals on living room favorites delivered right on time for the big game. Plus, pay 0% interest through February 2029. Only at Ashley. Download the News 8000 app today. Expect more from News 8 Now. Thanks for watching. If you think the neon lights are bright on Broadway, wait until you see this. The Neon Museum, Las Vegas, sits just outside the city's downtown. The Boneyard consists of 800 signs dating back to the 1930s. As more historic casino sites imploded to make way for mega resorts, city leaders wanted to keep the neon signs. These signs, like Moulin Rouge, are also reminders of the area's rich and sometimes complicated past. It was the first um, non-racially segregated hotel in Las Vegas. So when Frank Sinatra realized that he could go and have a beer with Sammy Davis Jr. at the Moulin Rouge, that's what they did after they performed on the strip. They'd make their way over. Now, along with all that history, tours at the museum include many chemistry lessons. And for many who visit, it's the perfect setting for a selfie. Stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we return. My doctor says I need an MRI. But where do I go? They're so expensive. Sensible MRI costs a few hundred, not thousands. You could fill your fridge for a year with what you save. We can get you in the next day. Think of what you could do with the time you'd save. 
What do you have to lose? At Sensible MRI, you choose the time you save the money. And you rest easy having your doctor refer you to Sensible MRI. Showplace Cabinets. Compliment your new tub or shower with appealing cabinetry from Showplace. Made in America, Showplace Cabinetry is built to last with features and styles to fit your home and family. Coordinate your new tub or shower, your fixtures, flooring, sink with your new Showplace vanity. Visit our showroom to see the many possibilities from Showplace. Designers to create a plan and board store carpenters, plumbers, and electricians to do it right. Showplace Cabinets and the board store. Your winning combination. Get started today. Upgrade to Music Jam's Premium to get uninterrupted listening on all your favorite tunes. Click here to start your seven-day free trial. If it's important, it's not worth compromising. Which is why with Farmers, you don't have to compromise quality to get great savings on your insurance. I got this. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. President's Day is a time to honor all presidents, past and present. And at King Furniture, we're giving you the opportunity to save some presidents with huge discounts throughout the entire store, up to 60% off. Now that's what I'm talking about. And right now, you can get 0% financing. So save some presidents at King. For the record, Franklin was not a president, but you can save him too. It's the President's Day sale going on right now at King, King Furniture. Furniture. Nice people. Nice furniture. Nice style. The 8000 Plus app. Stream on your time. Cloudy this afternoon, even some light snow showers or flurries. Far northern tip of our viewing area, even north of Eau Claire, up in uh, parts of Dunn, Chippewa, and Rusk counties. The rest of us stay dry, but a little dose of uh, reality with more February-like numbers in the 30s right now. Uh, we will see highs today in the mid-30s to lower 40s, right around 42 in the cross. Still some blustery west winds, 10 to 20, gusting to 30. More sunshine for the weekend, but uh, seasonably chilly. Highs in the upper 30s, some 40s to start next week, and then some low-end precip chances next Tuesday, Wednesday for Valentine's. Valentine's Day, maybe some flurries, slight chance of light snow showers Wednesday night into Thursday and turning colder later next week as well. Michael. We want to thank you so much for watching News 8 Now at Noon. We'll see you at 5, 6, and 10. Have a great weekend, everyone.